Christmas. Thirsty for more. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I am super excited to showcase this right here. Sweetwater sent me the new Roland SPD SX Pro. This is the upgraded version of the SPD SX that has been used on stages around the world by almost every drummer that uses electronics. This is the backbone to so many setups, and now they've upgraded it. Uh, there's a lot to talk about, there's a lot to show off, but the first thing I wanna do is turn it on and have some fun with it and kind of see uh, what the experience is like uh, from a newer user. I've, of course, never used the SPD SX Pro before, so we're gonna kind of dive into it and have some fun, and then uh, I'll tell you a little more about it and talk about some of the ways that it's been upgraded, some of my thoughts concerning those upgrades, what they've done really well, um, and let's have some fun. All right, so first thing that I of course noticed when I turned this thing on is it now has all of the colored LEDs and it also has this uh, bigger screen, more options. Um, on the back you can see that it has more inputs, outputs, like it, there's just a lot going on here. Uh, but the first thing you gotta do with a sample pad like this is just play it and see what happens. So. This is the very first set of sounds when you turn it on. This is dance. So we've got, got a kick, snare drum with a lot of reverb. That's cool. A little hi-hat, a little synth hit, a little hi-hat looper. Then we've got some different loops. So you can see right away there's different colors on here. That designates that these are non-looping and the yellow is looping, I believe, because it says loop here, so... Okay. Nice. All right, well, I'm gonna start my click. Shut off the loop like that. What else we got? Start in time with a click. Okay, starts over, it like ramps up. That's cool. So you can like basically put a little song together here. All right, so we've got like a few options here. We could call this like a verse. This could be a cool intro. This could be the chorus. This is like a looping uh, electronic drum pattern that you can put over the top of it. So let's just say we kick off the intro. Thank you. 
All right, so a lot to like right there. So let's uh, let's try this a little bit more. I'm gonna mess around with the idea of the master effect, which goes on uh, everything on the uh, the kit that you're on. So this is a tape master effect, and what's cool about it? Say we get the kick drum going there, and we turn on the effect. So now that it's on, but I can control it here. Okay. Yeah. I'm turning it down. So it's back to dry. So you're gonna you can adjust that on the kit as you go. So one thing that I uh, I noticed is, and I was really impressed by, you can actually fire a loop, and then you can switch the kit. So we're on dance kit. Okay, but say I want to change sounds, I need more instruments, uh, but I want to keep that loop going. You can actually change, and it's still going. Which I feel like is not something that normally happens with other sample pads, because when you change a kit, you change the loaded samples. So, that I thought that was pretty cool. Like, I could just go and find, like, Let's see, drums low and fat. So we got kick, snare, closed hats, toms. Probably not the right sound for that. Uh, here's E drums. I could probably turn the loop off on one of the other ones there as well. Ambient groove, I like this. Let's see, start a click. Uh, so this is 78. So the click on these presets is all set to the same tempo as the loops. So this is ambient groove. There's, there's so much fun that you can have with a pad like this. It can literally completely change your approach to the way that you create music with a drum set. And that's what's really cool about these sampling pads. Um, and it's really just very special to have the capability, whether you use a small portion of it, whether you just trigger, trigger a few sounds, or you use the entire capabilities of an, an instrument, a piece of gear like this, because the the sky is the limit with the power that this brings to your kit um, from actually triggering and sampling your drums and adding sounds to acoustic drums to adding extra sounds on the sides to putting in your own loops to playing your backing tracks to triggering your clicks to uh, effects and just live performance nature. Now, uh, I, you know, I have experience with this technology and I've done some cool things in the past uh, with sample pads and with electronics, but like, yeah, I mean, I'd, like Michael Shack. if you guys haven't seen Michael Shack, I love what he does. He's like a, a rolling guy through and through. He'll have like two of these things set up on each side of his kit and like be firing like live remixes. And it's, it's so cool what you can do with this. So I'm gonna go back to the first kit 
the dance kit. And uh, if you notice here, I have multiple drums set up. Uh, all of these are connected to the Roland SPDSX Pro. And in this situation, uh, these are not, well, this is a Roland VH10 hi-hat, uh, but these are not actually Roland sample pads. And so I wanted to show that, yes, of course you can get Roland pads and connect them to this, but it also works with other types of pads. They do recommend only using their hi-hat, uh, the, uh, the hi-hat controls from Roland so as not to cause some issues there. But um, as far as like pads go, if you already have pads, you can hook them up to this. It has four stereo inputs that can actually split to mono. So you can have up to eight additional pads set up to this. You can literally run this like it is a full drum set. Um, and you don't necessarily like, if you had the pads and you have this right here, you don't necessarily need an electronic drum module because this is your electronic drum module. And so uh, on this kit, I have gone in and I've edited it and I've added my external triggers. So we've got a kick, got a different snare sound. We've got a floor tom, real low, beefy, punchy. And then we've also got the hi-hat here. So now I've got like a, a small mini kit set up with all of the power of the sample pad as well. All the sounds are running through this, through a stereo out recorded straight to my computer. So everything is being processed by the SPDSX Pro. All of the sounds are internal to the SPDSX Pro. And this is all stuff that's built in. You will see some content where I've added my own samples, which is exactly what, you know, most people do with this. In fact, like, the built-in kits and stuff, the built-in sounds are um, oftentimes for people who, I wouldn't say don't utilize this to its full, full purpose, but like it, it makes it simple. It, it allows you to just turn it on, have awesome sounds, have great uh, immediate flexibility in what you can create because you can take those internal sounds and make all sorts of user kits with it and you never have to load in your own samples. But many of the big guys on tour, they have those specific sounds that are for every specific song on the album and so they have all these different kits. Um, and you can trigger kit changes with a foot switch or with a certain pad on here. Um, it is really, really cool. And so now I'm gonna play this like it is a drum set into the SPDSX Pro here. So we're gonna turn the click back on and then I'm gonna fire the loop. love uh, using a hand played kick with the foot kick and having them be the same sound because you could just do some crazy things. <laughs> oh man. Let's take a look, uh, talk about some of the actual additional changes, ways that they have improved this, and why the Pro version might be the better choice over the standard SPD SX, because they're both still available. So let's take a look. All right, so a few things to note about the SPD SX Pro and the upgrades that you get when you transition into the new Pro version, if you already have the SPD SX, or if you are choosing between the SPD SX and the SPD SX Pro, both are incredible pieces of gear. Like I mentioned, when I was experiencing it and having fun, like you, this piece of gear can absolutely transform everything about the way that you create music, adding so many additional sounds, um, whether they are samples you bring in or they are built-in samples. I mean, putting this next to an acoustic kit basically gives you like every percussion option, every sound option you, you can imagine, you know? And it, not only that, but it can transform your acoustic kit too, because you can add triggers into this unit that play and the audio is sent to the sound engineer or is sent to your recording uh, from your acoustic drums. So your snare drum could be mic'd, 
have your actual snare sound and then add an additional tone from here, whether you want uh, you know, a tambourine just a little bit in the background of your snare drum for a song, or if you want the floor tom, but you also want a little bit of a bass drop on the floor tom, or you just want to uh, enhance those tones with additional sounds within the unit or additional sounds. Maybe you take it to the studio and you record your floor tom sounding exactly the way you could ever want it to sound, so perfect, but in a live scenario, you know that you're beating the heck out of it and eventually it's gonna detune a little bit, or your heads aren't quite as new as they were, that sound reinforcement of having a trigger running through this unit is, is so huge. And in this case, um, the SPDSX Pro just takes the options of the SPDSX and, and adds to it. Now, one of the first things you'll note is this is more user friendly because of the fact that they've added the lighting around the pads. <laughs> I mean, if you know the SPDSX, you know gaff tape uh, because in a dark environment, the original SPDSX has no lights. Um, besides like little lights that you know tell you that you, you, you've triggered a sample. So in the dark, on a stage with crazy lights going everywhere, sometimes it's very difficult to see the pads to be able to distinguish exactly where each one is. And this, with all the colored lights, you can show yourself where your loop is, you can, you can uh, change the actual lighting around each individual pad so that you can say, this is my click, and this is my loop, and this is my start stop, and this is my crash, and, and you can have a color that you use throughout all of your different kits that allows it to, to be yours, to, to be interesting and cool to look at, as well as very informative, and it, you know, it separates these pads here. So even in the dark, like, I can turn off the lights here. My cameras aren't gonna like it. But even in the dark, I mean, you see from the, the overhead GoPro angle here, which is probably pretty crazy with those other lights, like, I can see where each pad is. Definitely no, no issue there for me because of, because of the, the lighting there. And so that is, that's just a huge benefit. It's not the end all be all. It's not like you, you, can't, you can't get the SPDSX because it doesn't have lights. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that is a huge benefit. That is going to be something that you will enjoy every single show. Um, and it just really makes it a more user friendly experience. Much bigger uh, LED screen here, so you are able to uh, see what's going on. You can actually see now what each of the individual pads are right here, which is really, really helpful. Um, it's the only way I was able to switch from kit to kit without going, all right, so this says, you know, hip hop. Well, okay, what is that? Okay, well, what is that? You know, you can just look down here, synth hit. So I know this is a synth hit. Um, pro electric uh, hi-hat, like I know that's a hi-hat. So. That makes it very simple, especially in a live environment where you're like, oh, we're gonna do this song? Well, let me find, uh, you know, I need an electronic sounding kit real quick. Okay, so there's the hi-hat. I mean, everything is generally in the same location. Kick drum is almost always here. Snare is almost always there. Hi-hat's almost always there, but you get what I'm saying. That's very helpful. Um, some of the really, really important things to note uh, as far as advancements go. Double the storage. Uh, so now it's 32 gigabytes as opposed to 16 on the SPD-SX. That's huge because you can store more samples, you can store um, more kits. Um, it's like over double the kits as well so that, I mean, I'm never going, I don't think I'll ever be in a situation where I need like 100 kits, but there's someone out there who does multiple different gigs with multiple different artists and they don't wanna have to keep changing and offloading and unloading. So like having all of that storage is huge um, and it makes it very simple to put everything that you could ever need into this unit and then on the fly be able to change your set list with your artist or change your set list with what it is that you're doing very, very easily. Uh, another huge part is the ins and outs. So the previous SPDSX had uh, the two outs and then it had uh, two additional outs, I believe. This one actually has four direct outs plus the two master outs plus the headphone out and you can go in and you can make all of those mono outputs. So if you were running triggers on your drums and you also wanted the effects, you could have four drums triggered all out of those direct outs. You can, depending on each kit, you can send different instruments. So if there's a certain song where you really needed uh, the snare drum to go out on its own direct out, but then this time you want all the low end to go on a different out, like you, you're able to send 
and do it all on the screen here, exactly where everything needs to go through those different outputs, as well as the fact you have four inputs, so you can have up to eight mono triggers or four stereo triggers coming into the unit. In this case here, I have four uh, additional triggers that I have hooked up to it, but if you use the splitter where it's a quarter inch to two quarter inches, you can actually add up to eight, which like I mentioned during the, the performance section, uh, having eight pads connected to this, kick drum, hi-hat, snare, four toms, accessory percussion, plus this, I mean, you have like 20, 30 different uh, sound options with just a couple quick clicks of the switch in a, a single song. So you're able to completely transform the way you sound and run this as like a full electronic kit because of those inputs. And because of the outputs, you're able to really control what sound goes out to the audio engineer, what sound is pushed out to the fans, to the, uh, the performance through the speakers. You're able to really craft that sound with all those inputs and outputs. I, I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can use this as simply or as insanely complicated as you want to because that's the capability that this has for you. You can go in and you can actually group pads together so that when you hit one pad, it also triggers the other pad. So if you're live, you want two different sounds, you can hit those two sounds. You can layer A and B sounds onto different pads so that when you hit it, you have two sounds that reinforce each other. You can actually set it so that when you hit the pad the first time, it's one sound and you hit the pad the second time, it's the second sound, so it alternates back and forth. Um, you also have the ability to sequence these pads so you can uh, set in a sequencer where you hit one pad and then it'll go through and trigger each of the other additional pads that you have in the sequence all from one hit. This is something that allows you to use this for so many sounds, so many instruments, so many effects and also still be able to play like a live acoustic drum set with it. If you're playing the acoustic kit, you don't want to have to hit all eight pads because then you're not able to use your other hand for your acoustic kit. But if you can trigger a sequence while also playing the acoustic kit and you just do one hit, it makes it very simple. You can put a foot switch on there. The foot switch can control all sorts of parameters. Um, you can also have the hi-hat control. So that's why I've got this VH10 here. Um, this is the... Uh, kind of middle, more bass entry hi-hats from Roland. They come with the uh, original TD27 before I upgraded to the digital hats. And these work with this module. Um, the digital hats will not because it does not have a digital input, but you're able to use hi-hat with a hi-hat control now so that you can actually play a real hi-hat and a, a kick drum through those two pads and just have this hi-hats and a kick and it's a very real experience. Or if you wanna use this for your toms, for your cymbals, have a snare drum, kick, hi-hats, those kinds of things make a very small setup still very versatile because you have the nine voices that you can do here. Um, going back to the tying uh, pads together um, where you're actually able to um, hit one and trigger the other, you can have one that triggers your backing track and also have your click on a different pad, but you can hit that one pad and it triggers the backing track and the click at the exact same time. And that allows you to fire both, but they don't have to be uh, the same sample. So you're able to send the backing track to the audio engineer, have that click track either go to you or go to your bandmates through one of those direct outs, and you're still able to fire it with a single hit, which put your whole show into this unit. Really, you can go as deep as you want to with the programming and the sequencing and the custom samples and just the way that this can run your entire show. So um, I, as far as, as, as I go, uh, I think that that's what I wanna show you guys today on this pad here. Um, if you want more examples, Roland has great videos that go in depth on every single feature. And then also, I really suggest you go check out Michael Shack. I'm a big fan of his. Um, absolutely incredible player. And if you want to see like the just the coolest things that you can do with this kind of pad in a live environment, like basically being your own show, your own DJ, live drummer, uh, Michael Shack is a great guy to watch and enjoy. And uh, I'm going to go back to having a little fun on this thing. So let's see what happens.